Welcome or welcome back. I'm the Ink Archivist here today with an exciting new Ink of the Year from the Pelican Edelstein line, which is Rose Quartz. This is a standard kind of dusty rose color. It's very lovely in this gorgeous glass bottle. They come out with one of these every year and I am more excited for this one than I think just about all the rest except Golden Barrel. And I put it in a Kaveco with a medium nib and my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Hawaiian Ripe with an extra fine nib. And these two will make a return for the writing sample later. We'll be doing swatches on four papers. So we have Tomoe River Paper, HP32, link is always in the description for that one, Rhodia, and Apica. Now this ink behaved well on all four papers, not a lot of difference between them. As you'll see in a little uh, amateur chromatography I'll show later, this is a pretty flat pink color with just some kind of periwinkle gray splashed in there and it gives it a very cool uh, silver tone in some areas. So you'll see as this dries, you get some interesting effect with that. But besides that, this is a pretty straightforward ink and you're not going to get a lot of show through, bleed through or anything because of the lighter color that it is. So you can see it's gorgeous on the Tomoe River paper where you're getting that purpley bit showing there. It was extremely flat on the 32. And again, you get a little bit more with the Apica and Rhodia. Despite not being a super dark ink though, this does not have a lot of shading to it. So we'll take out a look at the notes I wrote with this ink, and this time because I had it in two different nib sizes, I'm able to show you a page of each. So on the left here we have the medium Kaveco, and on the right we have the extra fine Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Now the readability is lessened because you have some shadowing. This is Tomoe River Paper, but I'd say it's about a 5 out of 10. So now we have the writing sample, so we'll start with Edelstein Rose Course at the top. And then we'll have some comparisons with the other circles there at the bottom. I am trying a new configuration with this. Of course, I'm always in search of the best way to do this. I like this because it lets me get a little bit closer and fill up the entire frame here. So really using uh, the space I have to the utmost. So let me know if you like it. And then we'll have the Kaveco Medium. And we'll have the sample sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And then I will bring in the extra fine sailor pen and do the same. I honestly don't mind this ink in an extra fine. Like I still find it quite readable. So uh, I'll be using it quite happily in one of these pens. So on the left hand side we will have two ferris wheel press inks. So this first one is Lady Rose in gold and the second one will be the Fluttering Heart. And you can see compared to Rose Quartz these look very very beige. <laughs> Whereas Rose Quartz is definitely more of a true pink. I heard a lot that a lot of pinks incorporate you know beige and brown in them but it looks like rose quartz, as you'll see in the chromatography later, has more of like kind of a gray or a blue to it instead as like a secondary tone. And over here on the right, we have Jacquemin's Rose Tendresse, which is very vibrant and bright compared to this ink, but I'd say it's probably the closest of any of them. And then this last one here is the Pilot Yoshizuku Hana Itara which is much more corally, but all very beautiful inks, so. And here we have my little coffee filter chromatography. And as you can see, it's pretty distinctly pink with just a little bit of that kind of periwinkle gray color muddying it up, which I love. So here we are with the final swatches with the names on them and final thoughts. I really love this ink. I think it's my favorite now of all the pinks that I have a bottle of. So I'm extremely happy. I think it maintains a nice vibrant pink while still being a little bit muted to be more readable. 
I just love it. Let me know what you think and if you're getting a bottle, love to hear it. Thank you so much. Bye.